Michelle Customizer. Today I am customizing a Jean Michel Basquat custom bag. If you like watching these videos, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below as to what you are currently working on. Like many of my other projects, I do some research at the start to see what images would look best on my canvas. Decided this bag is going to be a collection of some of my favorite Basqua doodles, as well as a little bit of freehand scribbles that are very similar and inspired by Basqua himself. Pretty much weekly, I get messages on Instagram about doing a Procreate tutorial on how I set up my layouts. So here is a quick run through. See, I have the image of the bag. I took it with my phone and then I uploaded it to my iPad. This is a Google screenshot of the infamous Basqua dinosaur. And I'm using the freehand grab tool to cut out the little dinosaur image and place it where I want to see it on my handbag. This second screenshot is one of my favorites and it is where most of my detail will come from. and arranging them how they will look most appealing next to the dinosaur. a tiny bit more color so I'm going in with my third screenshot and grabbing the crowns. Duplicating that layer gives me a second row of crowns and duplicating that layer gives me another row of crowns. see there's a lot of bare space but I will fill in those areas with Basqua inspired scribbles. This is the synthetic black bag I will be painting today. It's sad it is not leather but I will treat it just like leather. This bottom part is a little bit damaged. I can quickly fix that with a little bit of touch-up paint. I will most likely be removing the Lucky Brand logo. I am treating this exactly like leather, although it is not leather. Starting off with Leather Prepare and Deglazer from Angelus Direct to remove the factory finish. After using the acetone, you can tell there is a distinct difference between the outside pocket and the rest of the purse. To fix that, I'm going to use black from Angelus Direct as my base coat. This is the basic black, not the flat black. This is a basic black that has a hint of shine in it. One layer all the way to the seams will suffice. And I'm using white Sorrel transfer paper to transfer a few of the printed images that I chose for this bag. While I am doing much of this bag freehand, I want to show you that with a printer and some Sorrel transfer paper, you can literally customize anything you want to. As you can see, the entire surface of the bag looks the exact same color with just one layer of the black from Endless Direct. The 
chalk paper leaves me with very easy to follow outlines. You can try this raw chalk paper yourself on any of your future projects by following the Amazon affiliate link down below in the description. All of my work today is done with a Princeton Select Size 18 short liner. With all of these stencils pretty much complete, it's time to do some freehand filler work to cover all of the empty spots on this purse. I am using these Basquiat doodles as reference for all of my freehand work today. a second layer of the pale yellow on the crown and while my brush is out why not do a little scribbling around the dinosaur Thank you. 
with all of the chalk residue completely wiped away, I can get a better view of where I need to touch up. And sealing in all of the colors onto this black bag with a matte acrylic finisher. This is the complete Jean Michel Basquat custom bag. If you have any questions, reach out to me through my Instagram or my website. Both links are down below, as are links to all the products I used in this video. Big thanks to Angela's Direct for the paints, and thanks guys for watching.